Hey everybody, Mike Toy with Bonsai Boise. I just thought I would do a, a late summer update and walkthrough of all of the bonsais on benches. Here's a quick look at them all and I'll start on this end that I'm at now. This is my big Siberian elm. I bought this off Marketplace last year. I did an air layer to it and it's still brewing. I guess. I've chopped it back a few times, but haven't really done any styling to it yet. On this bench, I keep mostly tropicals like ficus and chaffleras and whatnot. That's a willow leaf ficus clump. I think I've done a video or two on this. Looks a little shaggy at the moment. Sheppy. You're going to see a lot of random ficus here and there that I'm doing experiments with. This is Benny. It's got a big sacrificial branch down there at the bottom left. And it's been working. You can see the bottom part of the trunk is thicker than the top part so it's working I'll keep it going and then here's June more of an S shape did a pretty hard prune on this one on both of them really trying to get them to back bud and it's working you can see in there it'll focus you see a little bit of back budding happening lower down on the branches, so that's good. That's what we want. This is another tiger bark ficus that I haven't really done a video on. Started as a cutting a few years ago and just been kind of working on it ever since, but it's starting to get to a point where I kind of like it. Got a bright future. And then there's another tiger bark ficus that also I've never done a video on, but it's starting to get to a point where it's looking good or looking better. I've got some footage that I'll show when I do finally post a video. It's got some back budding also and some spider webs. But I did a real hard prune on this one early summer. But it's responding well. Just a little tiger bark ficus. Nothing super special yet. Lately I've been sticking cuttings in a pot kind of like this and then just not doing anything with it just letting it grow haven't trimmed it at all then I've got quite a few ficus benjaminas kind of like this one where you know just trying different styles and seeing what I can do with them I do a lot of experimenting with ficus ficus and willow lately and elm here's just a banyan Ficus, not a bonsai. Just like it. Here's another willow leaf ficus that I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, as you can tell. I'm trying some weird wiring. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that. We'll see. And you can just see a bunch of random ficus there, like this one. Just was a cutting that kind of had some goofiness to it, and I kind of like goofiness sometimes. Just to see what you can do with it. I have one random elm on there for some reason. That is a Jacqueline Hillier elm. A cutting from my main Jacqueline Hillier, which we'll look at in a minute. And then this is a eucalyptus tree. Haven't done a video yet because 
you know, still in training, but I see very few bonsai examples of these. And I see why, because they, they grow kind of weirdly. So eventually, someday, I'll make a video about it if it makes it that far. There's my ficus fusion. One of. It's my main ficus fusion. And this is an apple tree that I dug up out of somebody's yard last year in June of 23. I couldn't tell you what type of apple tree because I think there's three or four different apple grafts on there. You see a difference in some leaves here. Old growth and new growth. And jumping over to the other bench. There's a dwarf Alberta spruce, which I've done nothing with in about two years. It got a little sick, and so I just let it grow and get healthy. And now it's about time for me to do something. I gotta trim it and wire it and something. There's my juniper, my first juniper ever. I call it my Mr. Miyagi tree. It's in a bit of a awkward state. We're kind of rehabbing it, getting it back on track and sort of lost its way there for a while. We'll get there. Little Hinoki Cypress. Got a little bit of reverse taper issue going there. I'll work on that. Otherwise, it's a very slow grower. I've had this going on third year now, and it's barely changed. couple of armor maples. That's my straight and that's my curly. Done videos on those. And this is my main Jacqueline Hillier elm. It's a really rare type of elm. It got the better of me this year. Sorry for this big ugly black hose right in the way. This is one of my silver maples, my S shape silver maple. A lot of the trees you're going to see, just a heads up, are going to be in kind of a rough shape. Just because it's end of summer, I don't do a ton of pruning this time of year. That's my main Siberian elm there. And so a lot of these will look kind of shaggy and some are in the middle of you know, one experiment or another. So just letting you know that one to the right was an air layer of the one on the left. And this is a cutting of a green ash tree. This green ash tree, in fact. I never knew you could take cuttings from those until I just did. And it worked. There's another juniper, different type. I got this boxwood from Walmart on clearance for $5 last year. Hacked it way back. It was this giant bush. So I hacked it way back and put it in this pot. It's been doing great ever since. There's a bunch of pomegranate cuttings that I'm sort of experimenting with right now. I find these little pomegranate cuttings make good gifts for people. They're more exciting than ficus. This is an olive tree. Bought this about three years ago and it didn't really grow until this year. Finally, sort of just grew out a bit and I trimmed it back and now it's growing again. So I guess it was just a phase. Now it's back to growing. One of my two lemon trees, which I haven't really done videos on. This had a rough year. I repotted it into this bonsai pot kind of late in the spring probably too late and it almost didn't recover it took a while to recover here's its brother lemon tree as you can see it's doing great I didn't repot it I defoliated it I didn't repot it and it just kept on growing didn't miss a beat here's my shantung maple which uh it's in a bit of an awkward state. It's got some dead wood up there. The trunk is a little bit 
or marked up. <laughs> I don't know the right word. You can kind of see there, it's got a big chip taken out of it. This is a new one for me. It's a Chinese elm, an S-shaped Chinese elm. I actually bought this at a nursery because I didn't have a Chinese elm yet. So far, I can't really tell much of a difference between that and a Siberian elm. Orange Assange, or Assange, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Here's another one. Let's have thorns, I found out the hard way. And there's one of my two New Mexican olives. I've done a video or two on these. I trimmed them up twice this year. I grew way out, trimmed it back, grew way out again, trimmed it back again. Speaking of Siberian elms, here's a bunch of cuttings that I'm experimenting with. I'm trying something different. I don't usually wire trees up this early in their journey. I thought I would this time. So I'll have a bunch of cuttings, wired them up a bunch of different ways, and I'm just going to see how they go. It probably slows down the growing a little bit at first, but gives them some cool character from that point on. And they just root so easy from cuttings. That one there was originally a cutting about three or four years ago. These are Honeycrisp apples. I have four of these. Grown from seed. Just ate an apple one day, kept the seeds. And here they are. This is their gr second growing season. I kept two indoors in my grow tent all winter and two outdoors because I wanted to see how they would do. I think the outdoors ones went better. There's a little loopy. Well, originally at one point it was a loopy silver maple, but it's lost part of its loopy in there. But there's more. This is my pomegranate. It's my main pomegranate, actually. It's got some pretty flowers on there. I trimmed it up recently, hence the cuttings you saw earlier. And it's starting to grow back. I see some new growth in there. But otherwise, it looks a little bit thinned out at the moment just because I recently pruned it. And then you'll see here and there dotted with some little Amor maples or silver maples. There is a trident maple. It's actually a triple trunk trident maple that I got last year. I've not gotten to do any styling with it yet. There you can see all three trunks. I'll probably keep it as a triple trunk, like a mini forest kind of thing. But I've hacked it back a few times. It was, just grows back. Over here is kind of like a mostly shade, part to mostly shade area where I put some cuttings, some willow cuttings and different things. These are my two privets, which actually just like it better in you know, half shade or so. Those started as cuttings maybe mm, six years ago or so. They're coming along. I pot those into bonsai pots in the spring. There's my other eucalyptus tree, which is a little bit bigger. It's going to be more of like an office tree. <laughs> Probably just go in my office. And then here's a honeysuckle, which is real hard to get a good look at right now because it's all bushed out. It's got this gnarly type bark, which is sort of cool. And it just grows like crazy. I hear that it's invasive in a lot of areas, which I believe. It shoots suckers up from the bottom a lot. And then this is my one of my three bush to bonsai ficuses that I have. This is number three. Most recent. Probably the biggest of them all, too. I think each one got bigger progressively. 
There's one of my blueberry bushes. I dug this up out of my friend Grov's yard. Thanks, Grov. It's been doing great ever since. Probably do a clump style with it eventually. Looks like something's growing in there. I don't know if that's a birch. I don't know what that is. Huh. Well, live and let live for now, but that's what the blueberry leaves look like. And then there's the willow cutting, and then here is my green um, corkscrew willow. Did a video on this recently. This guy loves to grow. The video I posted recently, I, I really hacked it back pretty good. Cut some dead wood and everything, and it just keeps on going. You got some random Japanese maples, a few chifleras and ficuses on this bench. I did a, uh, a video on this one last year. It's a two little leaf ficus forest. And I haven't really done any follow up on it since. In fact, I don't think I've gotten any footage of it since. I thought it was dead at one point, and then it just leafed back out. Pretty much all of them leafed back out. Except for maybe one. This is what I call my work bonsai, ficus benjamina. It's starting to turn into something now. It was really big and I air layered the top of it off. And I've just been kind of nipping at it ever since, trying to get it into shape. It's turning into something. I kind of like where it's going. And speaking of air layer, here's the top of it. Or what was the top of it. Now it's its own thing. I thought it had some cool movement, some good taper. It was worth keeping. But we'll see what happens with this. That's my uh, one of my Costco ficuses. Costco sells these occasionally for like 40 bucks or 50 bucks. And this is one of them. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. I'm just kind of letting it go for now. And then this is my first bush to bonsai. It's the first one I ever did. It was a giant bush. Been whacking at it ever since, getting it down into shape. And then various experiments. This is a cascade ficus that doesn't want to be a cascade and fights me at every step. It's feisty. Maybe I'll name it feisty. Here's a silver maple. Been growing this one from seed for about 10 years or so, give or take. I call it my big pot silver maple because it's in a big pot. I did a real hack job on it at one point this year because it was just so big at one point it was so big and tall that the leaves it couldn't support its own weight it grew so fast I hacked it back and that's a Japanese maple not doing much with it yet and then we got this bench here to look at but first let's look at this I call this guy Bunchy's No Trim because I don't trim it. It was in this tiny little pot last year. It was in that pot right there. That's it. And for whatever reason, I just said, you know what? I'm not going to trim this. I'm just going to let it grow wild and just see what happens. So I did. And here it is. Haven't trimmed it, and this is now the second grow season. It was just a bunch of cuttings in a tiny little pot. Takes all of my discipline to not trim it. I want to so bad. This is a crab apple. I bought this at Costco for 25 bucks. Um, right when COVID happened. Did a trunk chop on it a couple years ago. Right there. But I like its structure and I like where it's going. 
And there's my second bush to bonsai, bush to bonsai two. Did a video on this a couple of months ago, maybe something like that. And it's already waiting for another trim. I'm trying to fuse the top part together there. I think see that white tape. Here's a Siberian elm that I'm trying to do a cascade with. I'm not sure why. I just decided to try it. Trees don't like the cascade thing. You, they just fight you every step of the way. They want to grow up and not down. <laughs> Obviously. That is a honey locust. Had it for quite a while. About five years maybe. But I haven't done anything with it yet. It's just in a training pot growing. As is this bay willow. It's had good days and it's had bad days. Get a sweet gum. And I've got a ton of, most of these are experiments, either willow or ficus, mostly. I'm trying different styles with these willow. They're all corkscrew willows. That one I'm trying to, like a droopy kind of effect. This one's doing more of a fusion, trying to fuse a bunch of cuttings together. And then just all kinds of different styles, S shape and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Here's an Arctic blue willow. You see these in like office building parking lots, you know, those little office park type trees that are next to the sidewalk something like that you can't see what's in there very well but there's a nice structure of a clump style just waiting so I'll try and attack that next year if possible you know pardon the the messiness of it all but there's just a lot of experiments going right now on this bench a lot of ficus fusions I'm actually trying to downsize some of my ficus fusion collection because I just have so many. There's one, just to give you an idea of kind of what I'm doing. Just trying to fuse them together. I've gotten a lot better at fusing now than I was originally. Just learn some tricks to it. And then some other randomness. That's my other New Mexican olive tree. At one point, that was kind of like an S shape, I think. It just lost its way. This is a Zelkova Japanese Elm. It's doing fine. It's healthy. Kind of a humbling experience, though. I, I air layered the top of it at one point. Then I got impatient and I harvested the air layer, thinking it had roots and it didn't, and it died. But the bottom part lived, so we carry on. Virginia Creeper. It's not having a great year. I don't know why. It's just sort of chugging along as is. And some other random Amor maples and silver maples. Here's my big willow. This is a yellow corkscrew willow. I've done several videos on this over the years. The bark is the, that yellow color there. Except now the main trunk, the bark has gotten old enough to where it looks more, you know, like bark. It's really grown out. It's had a heck of a good growing season kind of hard to tell with the grass in the background the color is sort of the same but last year was a really tough year for it and I actually wondered if it was going to die at one point um, but this year it was just like a freight train I probably trimmed it back four or five times and still that's what it looks like there's a dwarf Korean lilac doesn't have flowers right now flowers out in the spring these nice little 
purple and white flowers. This is a new one. Just bought this in the spring. This is a wisteria tree. Kind of a tree vine thing. It actually flowered for me this year. Or this year. Sorry, I had a different one that I had for like five years and it never flowered. Bought this one this year and it did. I wanted to grow all the way around. I think that would be cool. So I tied some of the vines around that pole, hoping it would. These topiaries, there were two of them originally. That one's not having a good year. That one is, and I air layered it. I turned that one into two. You can kind of see it in there. Not sure what to do with them yet. We'll see. Here's my presidential grevy lilac. Got this huge base. And this started just from one of those little bare rooted $10 deals at Walmart. And it's grown into this. This is the first year that I trimmed it and it put on new growth in the same year. I think I just got the timing down this year. But it's doing good. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's the whole collection for the most part that I can think of at least. I do have some cuttings. You know, I stick cuttings under the benches like right down there. There's more Jacqueline Hillier elm tree cuttings. There's going to be some trident maple cuttings. And those are cork, uh, excuse me, coral bark Japanese maple cutting. You know, a different Japanese maple, a big old chaflera. But that's the whole collection. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day.